of the guys on the uh, commented <clears throat> on one of my videos the other day, yesterday it was, and he was asking if the uh, e track could pick up gold coins because he'd uh, seen a video and heard rumours that the uh, e track misses gold coins. Well, they have a yeah, a nice Victorian half sovereign that I found on the beach many moons ago with a white detector right, so I know that definitely picks it up but now we're going to try with the e-track now I've got the e-track in the Andy Sabash Andy Sabash's uh, settings here and we'll just see if it picks it up right we're ready inch that'll be about nine inch but that has no problem in our Victorian gold coins end on end on you get it about seven inch but and that's an air test <clears throat> so obviously at uh, well I reckon it'll go deeper in there when the coins are buried. Definitely go deeper. So there you go. I'll, I'll try. I'll try uh, the normal standard settings and see what that does. Right. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. There's one thing about this uh, cover that I've noticed. There is a bit of glare. But I'll just put it in the normal coin mode. Uh, coins. Next one down and load. Do one of yes. Right, <clears throat> it's in the default uh, Mine Lab Factory preset of coin mode. Let's see if it picks this up with that because I haven't tried it with that so. There you go. That's in the, the default factory preset. And that's end on. So I don't think it has any trouble at all there, do you? Not at all. <clears throat> I hope there's a cat. She wants to go. Alright, so I hope that's answered your question. Hold on, I'll take a ring off. And we'll try it on a ring. Right, ready? Right, there's the ring. It's uh, I, don't, I can't remember what carrot this is. I don't think it's very high though. I think it's nine, a nine carat ring. And again, that's about nine inch. Nine inch. Now, I haven't got any thin gold chains. I haven't got any thin gold chains, so I don't really know <coughs> if uh, what it's like on the thin gold chains. Although I have heard myself that it does miss really thin gold chains. But then again, I've seen one of Chicago Ron's uh, videos, and on the beach they found a gold chain. So it wasn't very thin, no. It's quite a thick one actually. So, but I don't know. But there you go. And I. Do you want me to test? I don't want me to test anymore, do you? But if you can find it in the coin program, just the default standard pro program that comes on the e track when you get it sent to you, you're not going to miss a gold coin. I don't know. So there you go. I could try. Hold on one second. I'll just pause. Because I'll go and get that, like, what I think is like pure gold ring and see what that does. Okay. Right then, this is the, uh, what I think is pure gold, there's no whole mark on it, but geez, it, honestly, it's heavy. I wish I could wait, but we'll see what this is like with it. This is in the standard, oh, listen to that. That's really high. You can run about nine inch, eight or nine inch.
and a half inch. There. That's definitely picking that up. I know there's no hole mark in it, but it's gold. It might be because it's a ring shape. Again, I don't know. But it definitely got the coin. So, okay, mate. Hello, lads. Everybody. I hope that's uh, helped with that little explanation. Thanks for watching. Yeah, again, I've got a few more bits. I've uh, got something back from the uh, museum. Uh, just get rid of the address. Bob lent them uh, three Roman coins that I'd found locally. Now, I can honestly say that we don't get many Roman coins in our area. We honestly don't get them. So, after I found these Roman coins, well, a while ago they had a bit of a, an exhibition in our local docks museum so I took these coins down for them and they just so they could put them on show. So they've had them for about five or six months, maybe longer. But I found these all at Erswick. Now they did a, a bit of a dig. They did a bit of a dig down there looking for a, a, an old fort but there wasn't one. They searched all over and the, the, they dug one field and as soon as you walked into the field I went over to see the uh, Dickinson I think his name is, went over to have a word with him the guy who was in charge of the dig and as soon as I looked in all the hole he had all the kids from the local school and everybody uh, helping out with the dig <clears throat> but you could tell straight away there was no Roman pottery coming out there was, there was no uh, nothing like that nothing at all it was just like uh, plain soil so obviously you'd, you'd think wouldn't you that they, they, go, they would go in they'd have found something Roman so there's definitely no fault there I don't think anyway I've yet to see the report they did this about five years ago now that's a nice coin isn't it it's just, this is a uh, big Sesterties nice isn't it except for a bit of corrosion there but I found these, believe it or not, all together. I thought I found a hoard. I dug one out. This was with the whites. I found one. Then I dug that out and went over the hole and I found another. Went over the hole, then I found the third. And uh, this is another one, sister ease. But to tell you the truth, I still do prefer. Come on, get out. I still do prefer hammered coins. I don't know why, but I just do. I don't think there's much work in these. These are cast, aren't they? Maybe that's what it is. I'm not really into me cast coins. I am into Roman coins, though, don't I? I can't say I'm not, especially when they're from round here, because they are rare. Right, and with the gold max, about, uh, what would it be? I'd say about five months ago, Six months ago, five, five months ago, six months ago maybe, I don't know, but it was definitely early, uh, late on last year. This made the local newspaper. Me and a friend, we went out detecting in a field right on the top of a hill. And we found two Roman silver. I found this one first with a gold max. And then about, oh, it was only about ten minutes later, my mate found one as well. Is there was did uh, Hadrian and Nero, so of course we had our pictures in the paper and a bit of a write up, and it was quite an exciting find because they're very very rare to find round here. But now that field has been uh, thrown, they've thrown loads of waste, green waste on it, so it's probably knackered now. It's under crop at the moment, so we won't know till we ever get back. But I can't wait to get back on it. That's a, that's a nice coin for me. Yeah, one of the better ones, definitely. Roman silver denarii, my first ever. This gold half sovereign I found on the beach. This came off the beach and I've been finding coins in the same area and they were worn, really worn because of the erosion of the like sand going up and down the beach. This was on the uh, stony, we've got like a stony beachy area down on uh, Walney, Walney Island <clears throat> where everybody used to sit and play and you know what I mean 
So when there's a storm, I mean it kicks up loads of coins, but all these coins are really well worn because obviously the sand up and down the beach on coins it's like sandpaper in it. They come out really shiny as well, but this, with it being gold, wouldn't you have thought it would be in worse condition than that when it's been battered about on the beach. I could not believe this. What a brilliant find that was. That made my I couldn't do any more detecting that day, put it that way. As soon as I found that my day was done because I couldn't concentrate, I just kept getting it out, looking at it, getting out, looking at it, putting it back, getting out, putting it back, getting it out. I give up in the end, I just had it come home. But nice, nice coin that. And I think it could be a rare one, you know, because with it been shield backed, let's get it out. Would it have been a shield back spread date? It could be one of the non too common ones, which is also nice. But again, I'm sure one of the lads, one of you guys, will be able to tell me what that is. Is it rare? It's 18, 1892. But look at the condition for the beach, for the beach, gents, for the beach. All Dead Victoria. Beautiful. You better be careful with that one, aren't I? This, another mystery item. Another one. This I found up near Workington. Of the coast. Not a clue. Again, it, I think it could be some of, something off a horse. Maybe a horse a pendant thing. Or is it a buckle? Don't know don't know what that is so again if you can help me let me know cheers guys and these are a few of mysterious here we go this is a forgery this is a forgery this this was found near a place called scales a forged washed coin a silver washed coin would have been a big bugger in its day I think it's even been clipped the cheeky buggers have forged it silver washed it and then start clipping it <laughs> eh? clipping a forged coin you can tell it's a forged coin okay by the copper underneath cleverly hidden by silver washing it but a nice find all the same right this I found this was in Bridlington uh, this would have been do do do. The wife was playing darts in Bridlington. That's why I went off and uh, looked for a bit of land to go on and found a nice piece of land. And the farm was absolutely fantastic. I showed him this, right, and he had three other pennies. One was 19, uh, 1863, right? And it just happened to be the year that one of his relatives or close family were born. Okay? So I showed him these handful of coins. He had three pennies and he had this. And I said, if there's, a, if there's anything there you want, just take it. Because I won't, I won't bother, but I was so cringy. Oh my God, please don't take the hammer. Please don't take the hammer. Please don't take the hammer. <coughs> and he had a look at the 1863 penny. He said, oh, 1863, that's when so-and-so was born. Can I have this? I couldn't believe it. Yeah, of course you can. Ah, brilliant. But I don't know what that is. So if anybody, it looks quite square in shape, doesn't it? And these were found with a gold max. That was found in a gold max on that uh, field where I've been finding all the other ones with the E-track. Another nice coin in it. Small. What is it? What is that? Is that a? There we go. That's better, isn't it? Is it Charles? It's only small. Is it Penny? Don't know. It's nice though. Another one. I think this come from the same field, although I could be wrong. Can't remember now all these small ones look very much alike. I mean in fact, I don't know if I showed this one yesterday. I might have done. No, I don't think they have. That's come off the same field. Because I keep getting like these little fissly Scottish things. Well there's another one. And this one came from a rally with the Lou Valley Club again found ages ago bent it's got a big bend in the middle 
was quite strange, but this was many moons ago and when I knew nothing really about the coins and just flattened them and straightened them as I wanted. There's a nice date there, 1593. So they're not bad, are they? They last all these years. We are so lucky in Britain to be finding these ancient type coins. I, I don't know what I'd do if I was a I feel a bit sorry for the Americans sometimes. A lot of them are coming over now and finding stuff over here, which is really good. I like that. And other people whinge about it, don't they? Coming over here, pinching all our good. There's hundreds of goodies in the fields. Hundreds of goodies. So there you go, folks. A few more finds. And I've got even more somewhere. I'll show you all the dross later. I've got tons of dross. Right, this is... The all the dross that I found this past five weeks, which just goes to show that you don't just find brilliant stuff. That has a bit of a, uh, I don't know, it's got something going through a wire. That's where I picked that up because it's like a plastic, I think it's off the back of a motorbike back wheel. Do you know what I mean, the mud flap? Well that's, that's, well, that's off. And I also found in the same area, when I can find it, that triumph is it a key ring triumph key ring that was found in the same area but I know there has been some kind of motorbike show down there as well so that's probably where that lot's come from but I have got some tat there's a lot of stuff here that I just don't know what it is I mean see all these all these coins I class these as crap even these even the, oh there there's a spendable see I really do need to go through these don't I some 20 pence pieces there, that's a weird one, what's on the back of that? Don't know. Right, I need to sort, there's a sixpence. See, I'm finding it. I just throw everything, oh that's nice. 1876. Oh, now I do like that. That's not bad nick neither. Is it? But I haven't really, I've just thrown it, everything in that little pot there and it's like other little places in the house and I've just managed to go around and pick it all up I've got loads and loads of little buttons loads of buttons but I guess I need to sort through all this at some point buttons, fishing weights right that came from uh, when I went to Rill with the e-track on the beach it's still got bloody hooks in it ow, one sticking in my finger uh, found a chain but well, not a very good one is it but it is a chain, it could even be off a dog, that, it will be, probably, it's on a walking path. Bronze dross, big buttons, little buttons, fat buttons, pattern buttons, that's a nice one as well, isn't it? Bag seals, yeah, I need to sort this out, don't I? Good day to do it today. My head's, my head is going a little bit now, it's not, it's still there, but it's not as bad, there's that thing that I found that yesterday, there, not yesterday, the other day on the video, it's knackered in it, it's, there's another half to it in here somewhere, I can't be asked keeping drossy crap like that, what, what do you mean, uh, well, when I say drossy crap, keep, keeping drossy crap, I mean, I can't be asked putting it on show, because it's crap, now, is that a dagger shop, or something similar? Could be, couldn't it? Don't know what it is. Another mystery item, guys. Another mystery item. But it's, to me, I don't know. It's, it's knackered, isn't it? Bad attitude, that though, Dave, because that could actually be something. That, again, was found on the hammered field. So, maybe I should make it I'll put that one to one side and make the effort with that one. More fishing weights from a rill. I see I found that nice little gold ring there, but the wife has claimed it. Don't know what that is. Uh, that apparently is a teardrop, teardrop uh, furniture thing that I thought was something a bit better, but it isn't. Part of a thimble. Got quite a few thimbles somewhere as well, guys. I have got quite a few thimbles, but again, I'll have to go hunting. Colour buttons, Jesus. Right, these were all found, all this was found with each rack in fact, there's, is that the other half? Or is that the I don't know whether that's the other half, I've just put that down. There's another bit of that in here somewhere. Anyway, these are all the finds I've made in the five weeks since I've had the e-track. 
bit of uh, iron there that threw me I don't know why but it give a nice sound that I don't get much iron with it I must admit I'm not getting much iron at all with it you know what I mean buckles I haven't had any massive but have you noticed the size of these finds nothing really massive by that bell top I would have been off a kid's bike that they've uh, been riding down the field haven't they and it's fallen off and they've lost it in the long grass yeah musket ball right you know when I was on about the musket ball yesterday where's that at? can't find it now and a musket ball yesterday <coughs> bit of a spoon what I found in the field it was quite big right which was the same size more or less as that one right and I said oh that one half give you a good thump if it hit you well what about that what about that? If that hit you, that would hurt. Listen to that, listen. Now that, what a thump. Bloody hell. That'd take half your head away if it hit you in the head. Oh, there you go. All sorts of stuff. All sorts of bits. Oh, there it is. Is it? Oh, I'll just move. There, 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 there. There's the back of it. And there's the other bit, and the other bit would have been attached to there. So it would have been a brooch, a fake, cost, well, costume bought brooch, which in its day I reckon would have been nice, but not today. Cufflink, that's a nice little small find, isn't it? Just look at all them little bits there. This this machine can find small stuff here. What's that? Oh, now is that hammered? Is that hammered? Is that a worn hammered? We'll get it dead close up, <clears throat> see if we can make anything out on it at all. Because that, that is just a piece of silver. That is a flattened piece of silver and it looks like a hammer. And it's come off the, the field where the hammer down. But I can't see anything at all on that. Nothing at all. If anybody can see anything that I can't, and I've got my glasses on today which makes a nice change. Well, that's why I'm getting the headaches. I don't know. But a virus. They said it's a virus. It's going round. But I have got lots of junk here to go. What's that? Yeah, that's like one of them little stud things, isn't it? <coughs> yeah. Right, my ring pulls. Hey, yeah, lads. Yeah, I've got a collection of ring pulls. And yeah, got quite a few. A lot of them are there. Chucked out. Even got tin foil. Look, this is how much crap I bring home. The wife is going nuts. Just bring it all home. And then this, then this, this. Right, this is a more modern one. These will be from the 70s. I have a nice little gold one here for my collection. There you go. Now this, this is a very rare gold one. This will be from the Lucas Ed, uh can. When they first introduced. In 19... 78 I think it was so that might be worth keeping could be worth a fortune in a thousand years time what do you think what's a load of crap never mind All right. I really do need to go through this like I say I have got buckets and buckets and buckets of junk from hey go on is it what's that that's that medieval pot leg I thought it was a pot leg could be something else don't know but I have got pots and pots and pots of this crap from uh, finds from over the years. They have another bag seal. And it's in buckets somewhere. I don't know where at the moment. No, it might be up in a loft. Well, that was interesting as well. Not a clue what that is. That's another, some sort of... It's a thingy. It's another thingy. Right, so... I think that'll do for that. And I've uh, put on the start of this video the uh, gold coin with the e-track. It does find gold coins. I don't care what anyone says. It finds gold coins. And it finds them quite deep. Oh, there you go. A little badge. I think you've seen this in one of my earlier videos. But that looks like a horse. A, a lass on a horse. Some sort of a ward. Some sort of a... Uh, yeah, there would have been a uh, Jim Carners down that field. Yeah. So there you go, folks. Dave's crappy finds. Oh, that is. That is. That would hurt, wouldn't it?
Dave's crappy finds over the past five weeks. So you've seen the good, now you've seen the bad. Right, now you see this lot. So imagine in a year, you can super duper quadruple easily. You can mega, it, it's like you can get a big bucket full. That is a lot of digging, isn't it? When you think about it, every one of them is a separate haul. And every one of these bits is like 10 minutes scrying about to try to find it. Do you know what I mean? Only small bits. <coughs> Excuse me. So I am investing in a Gallup Pinpoint Probe. I definitely need a Gallup Pinpoint Probe. I am going to have to invest. Because this machine at the moment is finding me lots of small stuff. And I am finding it hard to find this small stuff in the soil. So it's going to be a godsend when I get one of them. And I've seen quite a few people now using them. And they seem to do great with them. They can find find stuff El Rapido, as they say. Right. That's me signing off with my junky items. Hope you enjoyed. And no doubt I'll have far more junky items in another five weeks' time. Where I will keep you all updated. Thanks very much for watching. Oh. I feel a little bit better today, but then again, let's like say glasses on. I'm gonna have a shower and that in a minute and edit this. My head's still a bit sore, not too bad though, not as bad as it was. And the wife has suggested I stay off another day. I don't like being off work. I mean, I've loved the job, I just can't handle headaches. Anyway, oh, that's it for now. I don't think I'll go detecting again today, but anyway, you've seen all my junk now, haven't you? So, I'll catch you all later, folks. Don't be rattling on too long, do I? Give me some an headache. Bye for now.